guys, welcome back to The Cato Show. I'm Melanie. And my name is Zach. For those of you following us, or looking to be following us on social media, all those links will be down in the description below. We want to thank you for joining us this week. Yeah. So Melanie, our topic today is documentaries. Uh, I mean, if you're familiar with Netflix, they've got a great list of Such documentaries. Such a good selection to um, choose from. But with any good documentary comes a slightly weird or uncomfortable one. Uh, and that's what we're going to be discussing today. We're not here yeah. to discuss the good ones. We're here to discuss the uncomfortable ones. Perfect. So we're going to start my off favorite. with one. This is my favorite one. Uh, it's called Married to the Eiffel Tower. Any ideas? I mean, sounds like a romance novel. Yeah, take about any Nicholas Sparks film or book you've seen and double it and then triple it and then double it again because that's what this movie is. Okay. It's okay. a lot of math. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, I'm not but very so good at that. the idea of this one is it's about object sexuals, uh, and what those are are basically people that are not attracted to humans; they're attracted to inanimate large objects. Okay. Love wins. Uh, there are about 40 of them in the world, and the, the I love the opening. I love the opening. The woman says it's, she's next to the Golden Gate Bridge. I am a woman, and this is a bridge. And despite our vast differences, we are very much in love. Mysterious, ambiguous. I mean, but it's got a great little bite poetic, to it. Poetic, one would say. Yes. Later, she goes on to discuss her love affair with the with the bridge, the Golden Gate Bridge. She has a piece of the bridge she managed to salvage, and she plans to make love with it in hopes that he, the mm. bridge, can enjoy it as well as How she. How does she know it's a he? I don't know. I think she's not letting him speak. From what I know, bridges don't speak. So this is something that she's kind of just taking the words out of his mouth, per se. Oh well. You learn something new every day. Yeah, and from <laughs> one form of love to another, sperm donors. Okay. Uh, our next one is Donor Unknown, really ambiguous title there. Uh, but it's about a girl, her name's Joellen, and she discovers, well, she knew all along that she had a donor, a sperm donor father. His name was Donor 150, uh, last Sounds name like unknown. Sounds like a really fun, like, sci-fi movie. Ooh. Action. She discovers that she has <laughs> siblings, and then she goes on this quest to find her real father. His name's Jeffrey. He's a beach bum. Uh, just what you want in a father. Uh, and you know, right just on. classic Jeffrey, really. Am I right? Cla classic Jeffrey, classic 150. You know, you just you donate all your sperm and you just never reveal yourself. It's it's dark and hidden, and I think that's really intriguing to me. It's like documentary, sci-fi movie. Who knows? A lot of fun. Come on. What else do we have? Well, if you like a classic. 70s hippie cult. Mm. We have got the thing for you. The Source family. Yeah. Um, Really interesting. A guy decides to change his name to um, Father Yod, mm. um, which sounds a little clo too close to Yoda. I'm just saying. Plagiaristic. That's. I don't even know if it's a real word. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> Plagiarism. Not fair. Not fair. You can't just erase the A and and then start a cult. Yeah. But he did. Uh, they moved to Hawaii. They wear a lot of white, which is ironic because they live in nature. So like. Got to be doing a lot of laundry. A lot Constantly of getting laundry. Stuff, dirt, grass. It's Doesn't kind of make a lot of sense. Also, further complicating his own life, he had 14 wives. Why Just choose between 14 when you can have all 14? I'm, that's logic for some people, <laughs> not most. It's but polygamy. Okay. It's like polygamy to a whole new level. You step yeah, it up a notch. He's sure. the Jedi Master of polygamy. Okay. Father Yoda. <laughs> yes, that's also what it is. Um, they it did lead to a demise of the cult. It's pretty fascinating, mm. so watch that. Find out what happens. Absolutely. Um, and then The Institute. So I don't know if you've seen the movie Nerve, where it's that, that game and they have to go do dares. It's one of the Emmas in Hollywood. Emma Roberts, Emma Watson, one of the Emmas, I think. Emma Maybe not even. I think it's her. Emma Thompson. Yeah, Emma Thompson. Emma Thompson. It's Emma Thompson. Yeah. <laughs> um, the one that anyways. I didn't mention. <laughs> no, Emma Roberts. Um, and they like play a game and they're dared to do things. That's like sort of a little bit what this is. It's like this alternate reality game mm. in San Francisco. Um, and it got pretty intense. Pretty rocky. Pretty rocky. I recommend you go watch it to find out what happens in it. So. Yeah. So, turns out. Is art imitating life or life imitating art? Who knows? Wow, this sounds like 1984 all over again. We go to college, we know things. But with all those bad ones, like I mentioned, has to be a good one at some point. Surely, there so must be. Our recommendation for you is to go watch number two, The Story of the Pencil. It's by our advisor, William Allen. Hey! It goes through the pencil's journey uh, throughout the history of time and its combat combatants of modern technology in today's world. Uh, so we're going to link that down in the description below. You can pre-order it on iTunes. And with that, it's awesome. we're going to close things out. We want to thank you guys for joining us this week. Have a rockin' day.
go watch a documentary. <laughs> Have a rockin' day by watching a rockin' doc. Rock doc, bro. Rock doc? Rock doc. Rock doc. <laughs>